from phone to CAD. How to measure a building elevation using your mobile phone. So what do we need to do this? We're gonna need a mobile phone, a scanning app, a tape measure, some software called Cloud Compare that's free to download, and a CAD program of some sort. The app we're going to use is Polycam. It works with both Android and iPhones, but the best results can be gained by using the iPhone Pro with its LiDAR distance measuring capabilities. The methods we're going to look at will work with most phones and you can use other scanning apps too. Run the app and then start scanning. You press the record button and walk up and down in front of the facade and as it's captured, it'll be displayed on the screen in front of you. Once you've completed scanning the elevation, you press the process button. The software will then process all the data and create your 3D model. Your model would then be displayed. There's just one more step before you leave site and that's to take a check dimension. So measure between two easily identifiable points across the face of your elevation. Choose the OBJ format in which to export your model. You then need to get that file across to your PC. You can email it to yourself, load it up to Google Drive or use some other method. Next, we need some software which we can use to view and manipulate our 3D model. Search online for a program called Cloud Compare. Once you've found it, install it on your PC. Run the software, then drag and drop your 3D model into the program. Use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out, the left button to rotate and the right to pan. By selecting the plus icon on the sidebar menu, you can reset your center of rotation. Before we start, we need to check we're in orthographic projection mode on the left hand side menu. We can select that there. Then we need to make sure that our model is selected in the navigation tree. Next, we're going to click on the level button. We need to find a horizontal line such as the stonework joint, pick a point on the left of it, and then a point on the right. We then need to pick a third point above the first two. The coordinates of our model are now aligned with the facade. We now need to trim the model to get rid of the excess information. We first of all click on the clip box icon on the top menu bar and then we can manipulate the 3D arrows and drag them to clip out the areas of the model we don't need. Once we're happy with it we can click on the slice tool and trim out a new mesh. We then close the clip box. Next turn off the original model so we just have the clipped out one displayed. Click on the top view button which is again on the left hand side menu and then make sure your model is selected in the tree. Make a note of this X value in the properties window. That's the width of the yellow bounding box around your model. We're going to need that later to scale the image correctly. And then zoom and pan your image so it fills up as much of the viewing window as possible. From the top menu Select Display and then choose Render to File. Pick a location and a name to save your file to. Set Zoom to 1 and make sure the two checkboxes are selected. A correctly proportioned image of your elevation has now been created. So now you need to open up your CAD software. Here we're using a free CAD program called Bricks CAD Shape. And we're going to go to the images and insert function and we're going to insert our image into our drawing. What we're going to do is insert it at 0, 0, 0 at a scale of 1. Make sure it's on uniform scale and press OK. Use the scale command in your CAD program to set the image to the correct size. Select the image and we're going to scale by reference. If you've scanned using a LiDAR phone, then we need to scale using that yellow box surrounding our model. Otherwise, 
you need to scale between the two points that you tape between on site. Zoom into your base point position, in this case the yellow box, and pick the base point. We're now going to type R for reference and we're going to select that first point once again. We're now going to pick our second point and then we're going to add in our dimension that we recorded earlier. Your image should now be correctly scaled. Use the CAD measuring tool to check everything has worked correctly. Measure a known distance. If you've used LiDAR, then the scale bar in the drawing will do. Or check between those two points that you measured on site. Once our image is scaled correctly, we can use our standard CAD commands to draw over the top of the scaled image and create our CAD elevation. This workflow is ideal for small elevations. If you're using a phone with LiDAR, you're likely to get an accuracy of around plus or minus two centimeters over the length of your elevation. Use your check dimensions to increase accuracy and rescale your images. For the best results, use the iPhone Pro. It gives a far better mesh, which is much easier to use when you're drawing.